So today I'm checking out the waterfront in the hall. You'll see it's one of the most iconic hotels in Cebu City. You'll see it looks like a palace almost. Cebu actually has two waterfronts. This is the one in Cebu City. You can get a better idea when I zoom in. Opened in 1998. So let's see if this hotel is still one of Cebu's premier hotels to stay at. From the airport, it's gonna take you around 45 minutes or so, depending on traffic. As you walk through the entrance to the hotel, you'll be warmly greeted by their staff. It opens up to this huge and, and impressive lobby area. Make sure to look up to see the beautiful historic world map. Let's look at the lobby lounge and the food and beverage options. So what's your best sellers or um, you'd recommend to I have? Uh, Hello, I am Sherrick. I am a service attendant here in Lava Lunch, Waterfront, Lahog, Cebu City. For the best sellers so for the cocktail, we have the American Sour, this one. Then one is the, one of my favorite sorry, cocktail that we have here in the hotel. And of course, we have also signature um, special iced tea here in the Waterfront, the one. A perfect taste that I can recommend for you, sir. Okay. We have also coffee. Oh, that's what I'm getting. And for the breakfast, I can recommend you, sir, a American breakfast. There's a choice of coffee, chocolate, or we want tea. So come on down and have a coffee or a drink, or the breakfast like you recommended. Thank you, Jay. It's a nice casual ambience to the place. You won't go hungry at this place. You've got so many choices. Like this is a boulevard of food, starting from the Uno Cafe, which is up buffets. Then you've got Chinese, Japanese, and Italian. And you even got a cafe for coffees. If you only try at one of the restaurants here, this is the one to do it at. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Cafe Onu. Our lunch buffet is 998 per person. Hi, for our, our lunch buffet, we do have a Chinese cuisine, we do have a Japanese and Western cuisine. A lot of uh, choices, we do have a grilling station, a pasta and a noodles. So here they have a really good buffet selection with so much to choose from, including a grilling station where they actually have a chef to cook in front of you. And here you have the international cuisines. The buffet also includes breads, salads, desserts, so you can fill up to your heart's content. In Cebu City, Uno restaurant here is one of the better buffets you can get in town here. And this is what I ate for lunch. The breakfast is also a buffet. Now when you book your room, make sure to book the room that includes the buffet breakfast, as I recommend doing it, as it's well worth it. Keep in mind, it's always pretty busy. A good choice of different dishes and cuisines, including the regulars, eggs, bacon, sausages, pastries, cereals, fresh fruits, and cold cuts, providing a hearty breakfast and a thumbs up from me. Welcome to Mizu. Now this is the Japanese restaurant, open for lunch and dinner. What are your specialty dishes here? For our teppanyaki, sir, this, uh, the mixed seafood, tofu stick, steak, and the yakiniko teppanyaki. The food here I tried was absolutely delicious, especially the seafood one the waiter recommended. Welcome to La Gondola. So if you feel like a bit of Italian, you can try at this restaurant. Your best sellers here? Um, pizzas and pastas. What, what's the pizza, the best pizza? For the best pizza, sir, it's the La Gondola pizza. And what's on that? Um, it has seafood, sir. Seafood. Oh, seafood pizza. Yeah, sir. And what was the other one, the pasta? Um, for the pasta, sir, we had the lasagna bolognese and the uh, uh, spaghetti bolognese, sir. Okay. That's all our uh, best seller. Okay. The decor set up to make you feel like you're in Italy. The pizzas are cooked in their wooden brick oven. Pretty good pizzas too. I had the seafood pizza. I also tried out their seafood risotto on my second visit and that was delicious as well. Timurazu was pretty tasty too. Here's the menu. Keep in mind all the menus are available on their website if you want to get the latest. If you want to feel like you're in Paris, in Cebu, check out this place. Welcome to Madeline. I try our delicious cakes, pastries and also coffee here at Madeline. It's styled like you're sitting on a sidewalk in Paris. People watching here isn't as good as in Paris though. Today I'm going to try some Chinese. Come to Dingo, sir. So the other restaurant they have is the Chinese one. I only ate at this restaurant once. For main course, we have the pork, the sweet and sour pork. Uh, this is one of our best sellers here. It's really crunchy. Uh, we serve them some every day. So for lunchtime, you can order as much as you want, but for dinner time, you can only order uh, three different kinds of dim sum at max. I like the shrimp dumpling, but the sweet and sour pork was just fried fat. And honestly, I preferred the sweet and sour pork at the Marco Polo Hotel in my previous video that I did. This is a quick look at their menu. And again, it's online on the Waterfront's website for the latest one. 
So this is the gym here at the waterfront. It's called the City Gym. So and it's, yeah. it's free, to, free to use for guests, yes. in-house guests. Yes, very much. They're free to use the gym and also the pool. The pool as well. Yes. Okay. And this is also available to members, like if you live in Cebu City, paying members. Yes. Okay. And what facilities do you have in the, inside the gym? So we have a sauna. If you want to use that one, we do have group classes, yoga, Aikido, those classes. And what time are you open? Oh, we're open at 5.30 a.m. until 11.30 p.m. That's for the weekdays. There you go, it's open almost all day. And for the weekend? Uh, for the weekend, 5.30 a.m. until 9 p.m. Uh, for those who want to use the gym, or you, if you're within a um, waterfront hotel, so visit us here and work out and be healthy. <laughs> healthy like me and you? Yes, for sure. I have to get rid of my belly. <laughs> is this the best gym in Cebu? For sure. <laughs> the best gym in Cebu. So this is the pool area. It is a little bit run down and could do with a bit of TLC. Behind me is their pool area. There's a pool bar. At this stage, they're repairing this waterfall area, so off limits. Kids swimming area. Got the pool bar, got the slide, and then you've got more deeper adult pool over there. The bar, man, what's, what's the most popular drink here at the pool bar? Uh, pina colada, sir, and uh, Mai Tai. Yes, I did need one of those after a long day. I've got to save you if you drink too much and fall in the pool. He's there to save you. Hi sir, welcome to Pool Aquarius. I'm your lifeguard here, Junji. Enjoy the pool, have some chill, cool. relax at the bar, and order some drinks. So how deep is the pool? Yeah, the pool is from, yeah, from four feet to eight feet. So four, five, six, and then we have eight also. A great place to relax and cool off at. Waterfront is a, one of the premier places to hold concerts and events with celebrities and artists that come to Cebu. So, if you want to book through Tagged Events, that's T A G G E D. And the Facebook. Yeah, that's under uh, that's a Facebook page. You so, so you can see who's coming to Cebu at any time, and you can see those posters behind who are on at the moment. So come on down to the waterfront if you want to check out some concerts or artists coming to Cebu City. This is the tour desk at the front here. This is uh, Explore Cebu Tour Desk. So what's your popular tours that you do here? Okay, we do have the city tour yep. and uh, we also have the hilly land tour. Uh, hilly land with the mountain views like the Serral, Temple of Leia, okay. and then Whale Shark. Oslo, tour. yeah, that's the Oslo Whale Shark watching. Yeah, and then the Bohol tour. Oh, so day tour to Bohol. Yeah, day tour to Bohol, sir. So we have it here, the hilly land tour. This is the Bohol tour here? Yeah. And that's another popular day tour. And the most popular tour here in Cebu, the Oslo Whale well, Shark Watching. So you, you, should, got a, you got a few of the. Yes. A few tours. Watch, yes. You should watch this one. Okay. This one. A whole day tour. Yeah, this is a whole day tour. It's just that you have to be early, waking up early. Cause, uh, early means. Yeah, early how means early? like 4 a.m. You <laughs> so you have to be an early bird for that. Okay. <laughs> so you get to see the whale shark. Thank you. Oh, what's your name? Uh, this Bell. is Bell from Explore Cebu. This is Bell from Explore Cebu. Yeah, so drop by here. If whenever you're here in Cebu, you can drop by and uh, book for us for a tour. Or we also have a car transportation for hire. So if you're feeling a bit lucky, you can try your luck at the casino here. They also have a Lacoste store in the lobby. So let's take a look at their leading room, the standard. Probably for me, the rooms are the weakest part of the hotel. Not that they're terrible or anything, they're just getting a bit on in age and definite need for a good renovation. They all have the standard facilities. The only thing that was new was the LCD TV. Overall, the room's a bit meh. This was a bathroom, again, dated but functional. Definitely nothing to write home about. Looking now at the superior room, it's the same size room and really the only things that I noticed were some subtle furniture differences and the bathroom which I'll show in a sec. So everything else I said about the standard room pretty much is the same here. The size of the room is decent. Just to note the rooms also had free Wi-Fi, the speeds were okay. The bathroom was the same but it did come with a bathtub as well. Looking now at the deluxe room, the deluxe rooms are located on the higher floors and really that's the only difference between the superior and the deluxe. This one had two single beds, but you can also get it with a king bed. All the facilities are the same. This was with the mountain view. The other view that you can get is the city view. Basically just the same feel as the other rooms that I've already shown. Same goes with the bathroom and the deluxe room also comes with the bathtub. 
Now I did also stay at the Ambassador Suite, obviously a much more spacious room with the extra living area. Notice the fax machine. If you're a millennial, you may need to Google what that is. I thought I was walking into a museum here. Joking aside, it's not too bad. Now they did tell me some of the suite rooms had been renovated prior to the COVID mess. So renovations to the other room types is probably down the pipeline somewhere. The bedroom comes with either a king bed or two double beds. The room had the same type of feel to it as the others I've shown and also with the same facilities. This is a nice sized bathroom with a bathtub and separate shower to one side. A little bit tired looking, but overall, okay. You can book directly on the Waterfront's own website, prices shown. You can also see room only rates or what I recommend is including the buffet breakfast. And you can also see all the different room types that are available to book. Also available on your favorite third party sites. So like 20 years ago, this used to be the hotel to come to in Cebu City. But as you can see with the new buildings around, it's kind of been overshadowed in recent years. And that's kind of symbolic of what's happened with the hotel. It's kind of been overshadowed by the modernness of Cebu here. Still not a bad hotel, but it's just getting a bit old in age and it kind of hasn't aged that well. So overall, I'd rate this place as above average. It's an aging hotel, probably needs a bit more TLC, but it's still a pretty decent place to stay at in Cebu City. Now, if you want to see another iconic hotel in Cebu City, which I think is even better than this one, I highly recommend you watching this video on screen now. Or if you want something a little bit more modern, this is a new hotel in Cebu City, and I highly recommend you watching this video. I'll catch you there.